Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you stick around and subscribe for more. Look, forget about back to school, forget about end of summer, forget about everything because it's officially foundation season and I am so ready and I am so excited. So let's go ahead and get started. So I feel like we're finally moving on from all the matte foundations that we've seen recently onto all the naturally radiant luminous type of foundations which is something that's for sure a hundred percent of my alley so i am so excited because today we're going to be trying out the new anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation this is a medium coverage foundation with a lightweight formula that is meant to give you a very natural type of radiant glow so as you can see the packaging is nothing out of this world crazy the bottle is glass and then on the side it just says foundation which i will say the font that they use to write the word foundation really reminds me a lot of the font that I mainly use for all the graphics that you guys see in my videos and all of that stuff. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but it is pretty, pretty similar. So that's cool. And then once you open it up, it does have a nice pump. So I got mine in the shade 305N, but this foundation does come in 50 shades. This foundation retails for $38 and it comes with one fluid ounce of product, which again is pretty basic. And just to give you guys some more information about my skin type, I have pretty much combination skin. Sometimes it's more on the dry side, sometimes it's more on the oily side, but for the most part, it's right in the middle. So this foundation says that it's not gonna give you flashback, it's not gonna oxidize, and it's gonna create a soft focused effect. So I wanna go ahead and pump some on the back of my hand so we can feel it, we can see what it looks like, but also so I can leave it there for a couple of minutes and see if it's gonna oxidize or not. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you guys can see, this foundation is definitely more on that thicker consistency because it's not really running. And as I'm spreading it out and trying to blend it on the back of my skin, you can see that it's very glowy, but also if you could feel it, like this is so, so creamy. Also, this foundation is gluten-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, oil-free, mineral oil-free, and talc free so it's free of a lot of stuff that we don't really want in our makeup going on to our face but also this is clinically tested dermatologist tested ophthalmologist tested and lastly it is cruelty free and vegan and i'll go ahead and put up the ingredients for you guys on the screen so now let's go ahead and zoom in and let's start doing some makeup before I forget, I do want to mention that they did come out with some loose powders. I did not get any of them. I just wasn't feeling them, to be honest. Not for any specific reason. I just wanted to test out the foundation more than I did powder. So, yeah. So, now let's do primer. For primer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So today, instead of doing half of my face first, I actually just want to take one pump of foundation and see how much that can cover. But also, I'm going to be taking a brush to disperse it all over my face and then taking my sponge to pat it down and make sure that everything is blended out nicely. So this is one pump of foundation on my face. As you can see, it does give my skin a bit of luminosity, but it does give me a very light coverage. It didn't really cover any of my imperfections. It more like gave me luminosity and color, and that's pretty much it. So I definitely want to add another pump and see how it builds up, and then I'll be right back. guys so this is two and a half pumps of foundation on my skin as you can see i look very luminous and glowy i really do like that and as you can also see it's not full coverage but for me i think this is the right amount of coverage it's just what i want and need i don't really like two two full coverage foundations because i feel like they end up being a little too heavy on my skin other than that 
I think it looks good honestly. It builds up really really nicely but now I want to go ahead and test out this whole flashback situation because it says that it doesn't have flashback and I want to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this light. Where's the button? Here it is. And just take a selfie with my phone. Let me turn on the flash and let's go ahead and do it. Obviously my foundation is going to look a little crazy because I don't have the rest of my makeup done. Oh my god, I really need to get my eyebrows done. Excuse that guys. But you can see the foundation looks kind of oily so I definitely will set it down. But it really doesn't have any flashback. It looks very glowy and natural. But as far as the flashback, you can definitely see like there's no flashback. So now I am going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my makeup is all done and I will say that the foundation is so far so good. It looks really good on my skin. Super lightweight, like I really don't feel like I have any makeup on my skin. There's no creasing yet. As you guys saw, it blended in really nicely. It built up really nicely as well. And yeah, it just it looks really good. I like it so far. So before I go on with the rest of my day, I want to go ahead and spray myself with some Morphe setting setting continuous setting mist. You guys know the one in the black bottle, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself. And then I always just like taking my sponge and tapping everything in. It is now 3.39 p.m. So as always, I'm just gonna go on with the rest of my day, do my thing, and then I'll come back at the end of the night and just give you my overall thoughts about this product. So I will see you in a bit. <laughs> oh my God, guys. So I was literally out the door and then I looked at my hand and what I have here, I totally forgot that we we're gonna check if this oxidized or not. So let me go ahead and pump some right beside it and we'll see if the color changed or not. I mean guys, you are seeing it with your own eyes. So I am not making this up. Like it definitely did oxidize. Guys, I am not making this up. Look, like you can definitely see that the shades are two different colors. Like it turned a little bit more orange. It did not lose its glowy finish but it did change color. So that's definitely a false claim. So that's something to think about if you're thinking about purchasing this foundation. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day and go wash my hand because I'm tired of having this on the back of my hand. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we are back and I got Sophie girl with me. Hey Sophie, say hi friends. Say hi friends. She needs a bath really, really bad. And she stinks too, but I still love her. Oh, oh. I love you, mama. Stop licking my makeup off, girl. We're still doing the review. It is now 10.28 p.m. So we're right about at the seven hour mark of me having this foundation. And first things first, guys, this foundation looks so good on camera. So I actually filmed another video today right after I filmed the first part of this video. And I was looking at the footage and I'm like, wow, my skin looks so good. And then I also took some selfies, which I will put up right now so you guys can look at them. And my skin literally looks flawless and just so good. But now let's get to the nitty gritty of this foundation. I have a little mirror right in front of me because look, as the day went on and the time passed, I really noticed that this foundation really, really oxidized and it really was turning orange. And then I also want to give you guys a close up right now because Far away and on pictures, it looks good, but if you really get close and personal, as you can see right now, you can really see the foundation emphasize my texture. I Around my nose, you see that area, it looks patchy and cakey. And then I did blow my nose earlier, and I see that the foundation did move around, but overall, it does look patchy around this area. And then if you look at my smile lines guys you can see that the foundation broke 
and it creased which is not my favorite thing so i am definitely on the fence about this foundation because at first it looked really good it built nicely it gave me a good medium coverage everything was good at the beginning and you guys saw the selfies like my skin was looking good but as time went on I feel like we were going downhill instead of uphill and the fact that I did blow my nose and I ate and the foundation did move around even like the part where like Sophie literally just licked me right here and she didn't really lick me that hard but I can see that sh like the foundation moved and in some areas like it's gone so I'm like I don't think this is even water resistant because I believe it says that it's water resistant. Let me look at the box. Okay, so I actually just checked the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and it does say that this foundation is water resistant but just the fact that literally saliva, Sophie saliva is pretty much water and she licked me and now that foundation is gone right here makes me believe that it is not water resistant also you can definitely see i am starting to look very oily and i feel oily like i feel like if i just touch my face just a tad bit the foundation will move and i think i would give it a 5 out of 10 because everything was so good at first but now that time has passed i just i don't hate it but this is not like my favorite foundation and if I am really gonna sit here and try to recommend it if you have oily skin I don't think this is a great idea for you and if you have a lot of fine lines this is also not a good idea for you because I only have a couple in my smile lines and it really creased and it's quite annoying so yet another foundation yet another pass for me that's pretty much it for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you liked it give me a big old thumbs up if you've tried it and you do like it or you didn't like it let me know down in the comments also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and it's a fun time so until next time bye guys